My largest deal ever was a little over $70,000 for around 115 pairs in one day. The first sneakers that I bought for myself, I, as a middle schooler, went broke and eventually had to list them up on Craigslist. And people offered me more than I paid and I had worn them. Oh. Make sure. And I was kind of confused why someone would want a worn sneaker. But I realized I could make some serious money in it. Let's go ahead and get some at the van too. I'd like to consider myself an aftermarket specialist in sneakers. Come on, come on, come on. That's how you do it. My first year selling sneakers, I made around $30,000. And this year I'm on target to make somewhere into six figures. I'm very avid on working hard. And I try to get 12 to 13 hours of screen time on my iPhone every day. of just buying shoes and looking at the prices daily. I brought around 250, 260 pairs today, and I'll probably sell like 150 to 100 pairs today. In 2013, I started selling mostly on eBay and some on Craigslist and Instagram. Since then, the game's evolved, and I've started selling on app platforms such as Goat and SneakerCon app, as well as Stadium Goods, and I also attend every SneakerCon in the world. We're here at SneakerCon Cleveland. We have about 250 vendors today, and we're expecting somewhere between five and 8,000 people. I came here four hours before the opening. I would have been here five hours if I would have woke up a little bit earlier. The first time I thought I could make money on shoes, I was like super happy that I can actually do this. As like a young age, I don't need a job to make money. Say you can't pay rent, you have a shoe, you might have to sell that shoe just to pay your rent. So it's, I mean, it's a good business to get into. When I used to get an expensive shoe, it used to be like a thrill. Now it's like, you just open the box and it's like just another shoe. I'm gonna make some money on. <laughs> sneakers for a very long time were just for your feet, you know, for performance. And eventually sneakers became collectible. In an early age, I was really into comic books. I read a lot of them. I realized there was a convention for comic books. And I also love sneakers, and I thought, why wouldn't there be a convention for sneakerheads? The sneaker aftermarket today, I believe it's probably somewhere between three and five billion dollars. Today, we do over 13 shows a year around the globe. Between tickets and sponsorship, we can walk away with a show with a profit of about a million dollars. Sneakers is more than just looking cool and fly. Like, you can make money, you can help people out. Like, it's yeah, really so life changing. The advantage of selling at SneakerCon instead of selling on online platforms is there is no seller fee. So, you can get that 10% on every sale. Yeah, if you guys got any questions, just let, let us know. There's a lot of demand right now for Jordan 1s and Yeezys and I've been fortunate enough to meet the right people and be able to get some of those shoes at the great prices. I can buy a lot of these in bulk and get good deals on them. How much for auto blue chips? $15 lower than everyone. Some of the most successful sneaker traders out there are the people who actually also see long-term value in sneakers. They really look and study the trends and study the history and really predict future. They're kind of like stockbrokers or like stock traders. I got money, don't need to spend it. What you mean? Are they brand new? Not worth it. Thank y'all though. What a waste of time. So I've just been very like good at predicting what's the next wave and what's not. But I've screwed up a lot, but I've been right a lot of times too. What makes a sneaker valuable? There are a few traits. Uh, one of them is how rare it is, who the potential collaborator it is, how on trend that sneaker is, and how sought after it is. I think the Air Jordan line is one of the best examples of sneaker value. If you compare a sneaker to as highly as a Ferrari, if you drive it, it still kind of holds its value. And as you go forward into the future, there will be less of this model. There are some Ferraris that carry its value and there are some that doesn't. The Air Jordan line continues to be one of the best investments. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll take all of them at 470 a pop. No, way too low. So this is the uh, Yeezy Static 700. 
Retail was 300 plus tax. It's like 310, 320, depending on where you live. And I paid a little over 400, and now they're going for 550. Selling them 10 pairs. Y'all do the math. I'm making some decent money on them. Sneaker reselling can become a very, very profitable, and it actually can become a full-time job for anyone who spends enough time and does enough research. There are true players in this game that trade on a very serious level, and they make millions of dollars. 22, 23, 24, 25. Good right there. Thank you. Thank you. So we start off real slow today. The first like hour or two was probably one of the worst like sneaker cons at first, but since like three, three thirty, like. People are just buying recklessly. Like, you got the cash, right? Yeah, I got cash. You got cash right now? Yeah, I can cash and PayPal. Three, four, five, one, two, three. Today I made four, around five, eighteen five, to twenty-two thousand in sales, and in profit, four to six thousand. I feel pretty good. It's not the best ever, but it's a solid day. Not many people make that in one day. There you go, bro. Thank you so much. You're